Hey, what's going on YouTube? Guitar Era 15. Just a warning. It's going to be language. So if that bothers you, go and turn it off now. I made the stupid mistake today about getting into a political debate with a bunch of With a bunch of basically Obama Kool Aid drinking dumbass motherfuckers. That's about the best way to put it. You know, if you want if you want to support Obama, you wanna drink his Kool Aid, you wanna pay for Obamacare, you wanna spend sixteen million or excuse me, sixteen trillion dollars. Six plus trillion in the last four years, you know, okay, fine. Yeah, you know, that is why we live in America. You have that right. But I'm not going to talk about the whole debate other than one, one subject. Came up about Operation Fast and Furious. Several of these jackasses basically, you know, oh, Obama didn't know anything about it. Well, you know, my, my thoughts have always been, if Obama really doesn't know anything about it, why in the hell didn't he nail Eric Holder the wall? That would have got him a crap load of votes. Give Eric Holder up. Let Eric Holder go to jail for Operation Fast and Furious. Well, we all know the reason it didn't happen, because Obama knows something about it. That's how I feel. That's my thoughts. But anyway, that's not the point. These jackasses basically said the reason Eric Holder is not in jail because Fast and Furious was was, was basically, uh, how did he put it, executed exactly how it was supposed to be. Then the jackass comes through to say, if blood has to be shared, we have to get a bloody nose for the riots, fine. All fucking Operation Fast and Furious was about is gun control. Wasn't about anything else. It was gun control. And it takes a dumbass like Obama, it takes a fuckface like Hillary Clinton, and it takes a stupid ass son of a bitch like Eric Holder to pull it off. People died. For gun, I mean, they want to stop gun control? Well, the gun control should be basically the government keeping their fucking ass out of it. Because what happened? The government got involved, like everything else they get involved with, people get hurt. In this case, people died. I've heard a lot of comments from Democrats about, you know, Obama, the Messiah. You know, you know okay, you want to feel that way, that's fine. But actually, basically, literally coming out and saying... Operation and Fast and Furious was executed exactly how it was supposed to be. It's just unfortunate that someone died. Unfortunate someone died. You know, it's not like you're sending up, you know, a bunch of people on a plane to, for, for a pretty freaking awesome vacation. The plane goes down and uh, four or five out of the 500 people in the plane died. You know, that's unfortunate. That's an accident. When you illustrate something like Fast and Furious, where you put it all together just to basically prove the point that guns were actually making it to Mexico and some jackass says it was executed properly? How? The shop in Arizona were basically told, yeah man, don't report it, yeah we know about it, just get the guns over there because then the US, which has no authority in Mexico, was going to go over there I pretend to make arrests, which they don't have any authority to make arrests in Mexico. Just to prove that X number of the guns used by the Mexican drug cartels come from, Mex from the United States. You know, my problem is... These drug cartels... The money they make... 
why are they going to want 30 out sixes and you know 12 gauge shotguns when you know they can just basically buy <clears throat> real assault rifles not like the AR-15 I own maybe the AR-15 you own they can find the full auto assault rifles I just don't understand people you know if this was reversed and for some reason Bush or Rodney or frickin' Reagan or whoever was involved in this, a Republican, was involved with it and people died, I'd be outraged. You know, it's like a lot of people say Obama doesn't know anything about it. Well, everybody on the left. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. I don't work in the White House. But it just baffles the fucking hell out of me that these Democrats, these left extremist buttfucks tell you Operation Fast and Furious was executed exactly how it was supposed to be. Yeah, well, somebody died, big deal. I don't know, man. The way I look at it, breaking the law is breaking the law. Eric Holder and anyone that knew about Operation Fast and Furious broke the law. And I still can't believe so many people still think Obama's great. It's like all, I'm, all I can say, man, I'm glad I didn't get into the Obama Kool-Aid, man. You know, if anyone takes the time to watch my channel, got to have similar same beliefs. You know, I'm more of a gun guy than a prepper. I've got stuff put away for emergencies. But unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know how you want to put it. More of my money has one for guns. I'm rectifying that. But I'm just basically saying, you're watching my channel. You know that uh, our gun rights are under attack. I mean, Slick Willie, Bill Clinton, signs the assault weapons ban. That's going to be a walk in the fucking park compared to what Obama's going to do. He's in there next year. Hell, you might not even be able to go down to uh, Walmart and buy your son, your grandson, or your daughter. How about mine one? You know, a Daisy Red Rider. May not be there anymore. I tell you, man, the left needs to wake up. The right needs to wake up people in the middle needs to wake up. Our country is going to hell in a handbasket. And yeah, you know, Obama, he did inherit a lot of debt. I'm not going to even argue that fact. Bush spent more money than what he should have. Oh, but I also heard, which I'd like to know how much truth is involved in this, that uh, the reason Obama's debt's so high because he's the first president that included the price of the war in the national debt. Hey, if it's true, okay, so, okay, fine. But I still remember Obama's exact words. If I can't cut the national debt in half, I'm a warm term president. Come on, guys, girls, boys, women. We've got to make that happen. We've got to make Obama a one-term president. I wish I had more views. I mean, more you know, more subscribers. I wish I could get this message out. I get really irritated over people defending Obama, but you know, I can understand that. You know, you're a Democrat. You want to defend him, but when someone defends. Operation Fast and Furious and said it was executed the way it's supposed to be. That's fucking horseshit. People died. I don't know. Anyway, I guess it was a little bit of a rant, but I just can't believe anybody in their right mind would be okay with Operation Fast and Furious. I mean, if you hate guns, don't buy them. If you don't like the word fuck, don't watch my videos. If you don't like basically seeing naked, naked people in movies, turn it off. 
And just like for me, I don't like a scene of Bob on the White House. I'm going to do my part, try to get him out. See, unfortunately, you know, I live in Utah. So, there, I mean, unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to put it. In Utah, I don't think there's any way in hell, you know, the vote's going to go for the Democrat president. So, you know, the only way I could reach people is through Facebook and through YouTube. Well, I've got 40 subscribers. Most of my videos get less than five or six views. This one's important. You know, if you don't believe in Rodney, I made my, I made my stance clear. I'm, I'm, I'm voting for Rodney. You don't agree with them? Don't vote. Vote for Ron Paul if that's what you want to do. But send the message to Barack Obama. He's a fucking jackass and we want him gone. He's ruined this country. Give him four more years, man. I'm not going to be able to make a video like this because Obama will stop it. I won't be able to go down to Walmart and buy 22 long rifle. Obama will stop it. Not to mention Obamacare, the national debt, and everything else. You know, anybody that has my beliefs, I know I'm preaching to the choir. If I don't have enough following on my channel, don't know enough people to really know what they feel like. But anyway, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Everyone keeps saying go to these facts checkers. I believe they're all around by a bunch of Democrats, far left. I don't know if there is one that's ran by someone that's impartial. It's kind of like going into a Ford dealership and asking them if Chevy sucks. That's just my opinion. Anyway, this video is probably long. Yeah, I'm irritated. I can't believe anybody supports Fast and Furious. What they did was for the good of the country. No. You want to ban fucking guns, man. Come up with another way. Don't get people killed to ban guns. Anyway. Thanks. Enjoy your Thursday. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Utah Area 15 out.